guys, Dico here. Today I'm going to show you how to build this 2x2 two two scenes glass hip to draw. Um, this is the closing. It's pretty quick. And then the opening. As you can see, it's pretty good. Um, now, there's one thing I want to mention before I start with the tutorial. And that is uh, when you close it and then open it right after that, it's going to break itself. So. As you can see it's not really working. Now what you have to do if it breaks at all, you have to check if these pistons are on the left side or in the right position. So there's two T flip flops here and these both have to be up. Now when I move this one up, I rather actually also move that one up because else it's going to do some stuff which is not really what we want. So there we go. Now it's going to be fixed and so now you can just fix the pistons like this, move them back down. Um, there should be three pistons on both sides like this, and then there should be they should be retracted like so. And there should be glass there. You can move the floor black back up, and uh, it will be working again. So yeah, let's get started with the tour, tour build. So what you're going to need to build this is right in this chest. You're going to need your door blocks, twenty sticky pistons, four normal pistons, three upside down hash slabs. 39 redstone, 20 redstone torches, 31 redstone repeaters, 5 comparators, 1 gravel or sand, 4 redstone blocks, 3 hoppers, a few building blocks, a few stacks I'd suggest, um, 9 random items can be anything, and 5 unstackable items. So now it's time for you to start digging. It's going to be 6 blocks deep, 8 blocks long, and 9 blocks wide like shown right here. And then on those two blocks right there, that's going to be the doorway, which is shown right here. So now it's time to start building the closing circuit. This block right here is going to be your input block. Put a lever on it and turn it on. It could also be right here, but I'm just going to put it right there for now. Put a torch on the side of it, block down there and here, redstone there, and run it into a repeater on one tick of the lathe. It's going to go into a solid block with a torch on it, block on top and a block to the side, Let's sit on top of that block and a torch right there. Put a block on top of this torch, piston on top of it, and a block facing in that direction. And then place a repeater on four ticks in the same direction. Block in front, two redstone on the slide. Make that run into these two blocks with torches on top. Those two torches are going to have blocks on top. And they're going to power some normal pistons right beside them and in front. Then put blocks like this, and place repeaters on three ticks in between these blocks, like that. So now you, that you've got all of this, place three blocks right here, put a redstone dot in there, place three repeaters facing in this direction, make sure to keep this one here on one tick, that's very important, and set the other two to, two to four ticks. Now, from this repeater here, place a redstone, it's going to power this block here, with two torches on the side, place blocks on top of those torches, and then place a repeater here on four ticks in this direction. Then place a block on top of this torch, place a sticky piston with a redstone block on its face. That redstone block is going to power this repeater if it's, if it's retracted. Make that run into this two re these two redstones, and put an upside down half slab on the right here. Then place two repeaters and put them from that redstone in that direction. It's going to be an input right there. That's going to power pistons. That's the closing circuit done, but we're going to add a little bit of a different circuit to make it work. So let's grab this color of wool, put redstone there, repeater on three ticks, then a comparator, set it to subtraction mode, put a block in front of it with a torch on it, block, and then from that torch, a redstone to the side, into another block, and then that's going to hold two sticky pistons right there. And um, I have the feeling I built the door on the wrong level. So let's just try it out. Sorry about that, that this is actually gone on the wrong level, but uh, the closing circuit should work now. Let's just try it out. Beside that, we are missing our pistons here, which shouldn't matter, really. There we go. So the closing circuit works, and when you turn it off, 
should do that so it grabs the bottom block right there. So the way this works, it uses a torch burnout mechanic, but it's not really, it's, it's really reliable because I actually turn it back off with this repeater track here. So this is going to pulse, one tick pulses, and that's going to power this little T flip flop piston. So every two pulses, it's going to give a one tick pulse to these repeaters here. So in total, we're going to get four one tick pulses here due to the delay. And that's just going to power these pistons. After the first pulse, I, I power this piston here. Another pulse, then this pulse here is going to power it again. And then the two glass blocks are here. And the first piston here actually pushed the floor block away. Then this one is going to fire and it's going to push its floor block back in and it's going to pulse again. Now the reason why it pulses when you turn it back off is because of this piston. This piston is going to retract, which is going to stop the power from this repeater, turning that off, and then this torch will through and it turns back on. That's going to power that block, and then this delay here, make sure that this piston here wraps the block. So now that the closing circuit is done, it's time to build the double extenders and the block swappers. So we're going to put a block here, get a redstone torch, put it right on top of that, block on top, and the torch on the slide like so. So that's going to be powering the pistons, and another torch right there. You can see that's already created a double extender, just move it back down. Um, from this block here, we're going to be placing a redstone. We go around into this, place repeaters, two to be honest, into a block, and then a sticky piston on top of that block with a redstone block on it. Then place a three redstone like this, going around into that block. That will turn off that torch. That's going to be dogs in their number one on one side, and on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. So let's just grab our redstone signal from here. Place two repeaters on four ticks. This is going to run around like this. One, two, three, four. Place redstone on top. And then another block right here. And a block right there. Torch on top. And we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Then another block and another torch. See the dog extender. Move it back down. On this side is going to be different. From this block, repeater into a block. And two blocks here. For redstone like this. Block, torch, block. A sticky piston with a redstone block, then a block, a slab, because otherwise it will butt a piston in a second, and just place two more blocks put into that block. So that's our double extenders. And then for the block uh, swapping circuit, we're going to be taking another different color, which is going to be the magenta. It's going to go down into this redstone here from that repeater. To this piston, that's going to be a mono stable. It's going to run into two repeaters on this side. Three ticks and three ticks, if you can get there, you should be able to. Three and three. That's going to go into these two blocks of redstone. Well, blocks with redstone on top. And then it's going to go into a repeater on one tick of delay facing in that direction. That way, not that way, into the piston. Put the piston in front, and put a block on top, and first put these two repeaters on two ticks into the comparator there there, which has to be on subtraction mode again block on top of that piston, so it's going to be another mono stable. And this should be the dull extenders and a part of the swapping circuit. Now we're going to finish the swapping circuit on this side. Place a comparator from this block. Redstone there, torch, block there, and the redstone down here. So this block cuts off the redstone, this block holds this redstone. This powers this piston here, goes into a repeater here. That goes into another piston. It's another block. And then right here, we're going to have a slab so it doesn't power uh, the other pistons around it. And then put a repeater there. You're going to move these two blocks up and then you're going to grab sand or gravel. Put it on top of this here. Then place another comparator from this block into another block. It's a repeater on three ticks into a sticky piston with a redstone block. That's going to power this repeater here. We're just going to power this piston here. You might want to move that up for now, because we're going to place a hopper. And this hopper is going to be placed beside this block. And you're going to be filling it completely with um, unstackable items like this. Because otherwise, only then the comparator is going to turn on. So that's very important that it's completely filled up with items. And um, yep, so that's the end of the block swapping circuit. Now it's time to get started with the, um, the control circuits right here. 
So to control circuits is very simple. We're just going to place a block beside this redstone here. Torch on it. Turn it into a redstone dust like this. It's going to go. Just place two pistons here already. It's going to this piston, then into a redstone repeater here. We're just going to go into a block, and then this piston is also going to go into block with the repeater here. Just place two redstone on this side, like so, through there. Then just place a piston here, um, a block here. And then from this piston here, repeater in that direction. Then down there, there's going to be a block with a redstone and the block on the side of it. So if we go there, you can see that it's beside the piston. It's going to power those two pistons there. So it's redstone and block, like that. So now we're going to be taking signal from this torch to make a clock into that piston right there. So put a comparator here so it's a subtraction mode. Put into a block, redstone down here, and a repeater on four ticks down here. Now we're going to be placing two hoppers facing into each other, like this. Place a redstone repeater facing into this hopper and a torch into that hopper. Then this comparator here is going to be taking output from this hopper here. Goes into a block with a torch on the side of it and a redstone down here that's going to lock this comparator like that. So that's pretty much it done. This should be all of it. Um, so let's just try it out. We're just going to put nine items into this hopper, like that. And um, here we go. So that was the closing. It was already closed, but um, it was already kind of in closed position. So that's why it did kind of weird stuff. And then for the opening. There we go. And then the closing again like this. Now I do quickly want to mention that these hoppers, they take some time for when the closing to get all the items over here, but this repeater turns on very quickly when it's opened. So when it's closed you have to give it a few seconds before you open it again. But um, that's it. Now for the control circuit basically there's going to be a clock in the double extenders and it's going to power this comparator here. And this hopper clock is going to have delay it's going to lock the comparator at the right time. If you look at the opening, you see that it kind of derps after the double extender and does some weird stuff. And that's because this signal here is a bit too early. Um, it just fires those, but the bottom piston could not fire because it was actually working with the first block retraction. So that's why it does weird stuff, but then it fixes itself. It's going to fire the triple piston extender. It's going to retract the block and then do the block swapping circuit, which is right here. So that's how this door works. I hope you like this tutorial and this door. If so, please and please like the video and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.